Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today in the Library of uh, Whale. Central Stacks is the name of it, uh, and uh, or this place anyway. And uh, it's got to do with the stacks that we have over here. We have st stacks of books. There's something I can do. And we have a dare, yes. Do to you? Yes, a dare is breaking all the things. And these librarians get very upset Still is upon. at that. And uh, as long as I wait for that stuff, we have the History of Aura, Volume Volume Four. I only have the first two. Can do. Let's see what I can do about that. Uh, let's see if I can get. Uh, not happening. No, no, it's not happening. It is true. I'll put you over there. Yeah. Oh, that was an interesting indecision. You were Still is a bond. Oh, that's pretty good as well. I don't need to break any books. Might have not needed to break books over there either. Uh, maintenance log, flash construct controller. Someone has meticulously logged dates and details pertaining to the operations of a flash construct monitor device. Some of the latest entries stand out. Found a finger blocking the cogs. Asked around, no librarians reporting a missing digit. Initiated the st startup sequence and a bunch of teeth fell out. Operation normal? A new level grew from... A new lever grew from the panel today. Not sure what it controls yet. If anything, stiff. Warm. Right. At this point, the controller has taken on a life of its own. All I can do is interpret its desire. Device refused to initiate normal procedure until I tickled its favorite gland deep on the left-hand side by a patch of bone. After it shuddered for a... Some moments, I had its undivided attention. This is disgusting work, and I love it. <laughs> oh boy. Smuggled journal page. Admeth set the forest aflame, they say. Admeth snatched the sharpest fang out of the enemy's jaw. Or jaws. They sing. I know nothing beyond the walls of my cell, but I still have my memories, and I don't recall a single crisp tree on that battlefield. I don't recall being taken. I remember waving the flag of parley and having it answered with a battle cry. Anything they burned, they burned later. History isn't read, written by the victors or kith who were there. It's written by scribes, and for some reason Admeth isn't of a mind to contradict their lies. Maybe it's because he is where he is, and I'm where I am. There's history and there's, quote, history, unquote takes a keen eye to tell the difference. Interesting. And it is also true, indeed, that history is written by the scholars that write it, and in a much more relevant way of understanding historical bias than just thinking of it as um, history is written by the victors, which is just factually untrue. That is not the case. Uh, people who lose battles and lose wars also write history. They, it's just, it's, again, it's the scribes. Uh, but interesting, that does shed, a, well, it's a very minor, a very minor, uh, it's not even a plot point in the first game, but it is a, a very minor part of history. Well, it's a very major part of history of, of uh, the Deerwood. But, um, but, so I only have, let's see, uh, but it is an interesting take, an interesting tell, tale. Let's see. But the Delangan and Adran couldn't came, couldn't come to accords. They launched a quiet civil war, and the colonists' farms became the front. The Adragan blighted the Adirans' Vorla's crops with a might native to the deep forest. The colonists, believing themselves under attack by the notoriously territorial Delangan, retaliated by clear-cutting the forests surrounding their villages. Not to be outdone, the Delangan drained the subterranean act aquifers in the Valian settlements. Holy crap, they just murdered everybody. That's, uh, yeah, don't mess with the Dalingam. I mean, un unless you do, in which case, murder them all, because they're, it's, yeah, they're, they're, they can be very nasty. Take that, literature. <laughs> oh, that line is brilliant. Love it. Um, so those guys get very upset at it. Uh, and we have people moving in already, which is great. And I'll keep you over there, so we should have an you easy time. Still is a pond. Uh, waiting a little bit. Let's do that as well. Let's see what we have over here. Anatomical dis dissection notes. Curious specimen. 
larger than the last one. The bones assume a different configuration whenever I look away, so an accurate accounting of its inner workings will prove no small challenge. The organs are knit together in a flexible mesh which maintains its spongy state despite decomposition. The jaws can stretch open wider than they should allow. I cannot account for how this is possible, my, but my eyes don't deceive me. The teeth elongate in proportion to how far apart the jaws are stretched, even in death. I recommend the last of this species to be entered in the collections. Better to have it catalogued and disposed of than out and about. That sounds like a horrifying thing. And we have the history of war over here. I shouldn't take it. Oh, look at that. It, it, the red just itself tells us if we can steal it or not. We're learning a lot of things about stealing in this couple of episodes. And this is the third volume. His parents named him Gramwin. And he slept slowly, slowly? soundly through the night, every night, from the day of his birth and for every day after. He didn't scream or cry, but only stared blank-eyed as the world turned about him. Gramwin had no siblings, nor would he ever. When one neighbor's child was born similarly silent, then another and another, Gramwin's parents were named Cursebringers. They were burned in the town square, and Gramwin was left alone on a hillside, just as the season's first snow began to fall. Of course, that didn't stop the hollowing. For 15 years, nothing would stop. Uh, yeah, then I stopped the hollowing. And it was a brilliant victory. And uh, the ending that I did was the one where I returned the... Uh, say the word. The uh, the souls. That's a trap over there. Hmm. Uh, this is important. Uh, who takes care of traps? I think I can do it without triggering the alarm. Well, I can trigger the trap, as it turns out. Uh, how? You cannot disarm that trap. Why not? Trap triggered. Yeah, but what does it do? There's things in here. Are you dazed right now? A dare? Interesting. That's really curious. I wonder why that worked hey, like that. Knock it off. Yeah, no, no, it's the good knock. Off. It's good. You knocked it off the table. Still is a bond. Okay, so yeah, uh, basically the ending that I did was the one where I put the souls back in the bodies that they belong to, which uh, admittedly probably wasn't the majority of souls that got stolen throughout 15 years. But, but the game does point it out as well, and uh, the parents who did, didn't, well, the parents of children who didn't make it because they. As far as I can tell, the Hollowborn wouldn't last very long. They're like eight years old at most, and they would die just normally. But also, a lot of the parents ended up killing the, the Hollowborn, uh, which, uh, and for... What's the word for it? There's a word for it. Ontological? I don't, I don't know. But lore-wise is what I mean to say. Uh, lore-wise, they did the correct thing in... Well... In hindsight, they didn't, but, you know, they, the, the Hollowborn were hollow. They didn't have souls, uh, and they just might as well give it another sh uh, another shot uh, with, uh, let's see if it works next time, because a lot of parents were doing that. Um, so, that like, lore-wise, that works perfectly fine. Uh, of course, that has... That, you know, that it doesn't... It, 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 it doesn't uh, mention the horrible trauma that it is for the parents, or the real-life implications of what something like that would be, um, because of the, the real-life implications of there not being a, a, a soul and system like the wheel and whatnot, like the setting of the, the, the pills of eternity. Uh, the point is, I just sort of made them very sad, which is uh, a bit of a downer on that ending, even though the ending was very amazing. I, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed that ending. So what do we have? Arcanist's Balm. We have an infested almanac of crop rotation. I probably shouldn't take it. That's a quest item, though. No, it isn't. I'm not going to take it. The cover of this almanac is thickly padded with a fuzzy multicolored fungus that has spread to the spine of the rest uh, and the rest of the pages. Only one page has survived total infestation. Mold has contaminated the ink itself and warped certain words into bulging irregular configurations. It reads, the fertility of the land is a quintessential concern 
in the success of Hello. Hello. Hmm. A uh, healthy farm is a diverse one, and we cannot rely on favorable. I am. Are we alone? Holy crap! Is the is the uh, am I? Are we alone? The mold is talking. The mold has the mold is talking. I think. It's substituting some words for, for things, and this is a, uh, a treatise on crop rotation, which is something that is known to mankind for, I want to say millennia, and I'm pretty sure millennia, uh, for like 3,000 years or something like that. Even though throughout the ages might have been forgotten by some people, and certainly, did, well, anyway. The dic um, and favorable something to dictate our fortunes, just as Kith have yoked the seasons to do our bidding, we need to do our part to something or other that we replace, that we take from life of the land, from the life of the land, the precious abundance we so recklessly leech from the, and I suppose, something or other. Henceforth, it will be our responsibility to, something or other, share our progress for the good of the colony, I suppose. This way, the purity of the something will be measured and controlled no longer a variable outside our end. From that point on, the text has been consumed, reduced a little more than the loam of a thriving fungus colony. Okay, hello. Am I, are we alone? Am I part, am I part, am I a part? A who am I? Why does n knowing hurt? Song growth love of the colony. No, 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 the good of the, and then, this way, the purity of the book. Colony and book are different, are, are written by the thing. Yeah. Uh. I'll take it. I think we found a sentient fungus. Why does knowing hurt? I don't know what hurt is. Also, I don't know what knowing is. For a fungus, I mean. <laughs> What does that even mean? Uh, we have some things in here. I don't know where we're going with the fungus thing, by the way. The stone lectern stands before you. Its surface reads, While scions of forest and Adra fought, the dreams of invaders died. It looks as though the book could be... A, a book could be placed here. Oh, wait! The fungus is for the burning... The, the ink thingy. The, the thing that we went to. Let's let's do that. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe later. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about it. Um, we also got a journal update. And it's lost forever. There it is. So I can place the history of War of Volume 1, 2, and 3, and 4 in these things. Or in that thing, anyway. The device described with the arcane runes glows dimly before you. The runes request an answer to their question. Or their questions. I can lick the runes. Let's not do that. Let's activate the runes somehow by licking them. The air sparks with distort discordant energy, and the runes go dark. Their question remains unanswered. Yeah, I don't know what answers, what questions. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. These are the questions. A stone lectern stands before you, and they say they carried potential born of a word and shared like a secret. Oh. Okay, well, it's pretty simple then. Um, this is, uh, while Scions of Forest and Adra fought, the dreams of invaders died. That's probably the third one. The last one that we got. I think the one with the... Uh, nope, that's different. Uh, it's the founding of Red Ceres. Oh, wait. the That's not of Deerwood. It's of Red Ceres. Interesting. No, no, that's... Oh, my God. That's the wrong one. The... The Founding of Red Ceres is the one with the... I didn't even read the, t the title. It's the one with the Delam Gan. My god. No wonder they're crazy wild wild people. Red Ceres is weird. It's... They're not... All right. Ugh. Anyway. Um, so, the fire. This is the one. This is the one. So, we put Volume 2 on the other one. And then on this one, they carried potential born of a word and shared like a secret. Uh, it's probably Volume 1. The academics will tell you the fall of was inevitable. No, it is not.
Born of a word. What the heck is that? I'm missing something. There's more. There's got to be more books. Or. Or maybe not. There's definitely a secret passage in here, but we can't see it. Maybe on the way back. Let's uh, not mess with that right now. The potential born of a word. I don't know what to say about that. And I'll get your fruit. Someone should have killed this stuff with fire before it reached the books. Small suckers extend from the fungus to the books. They tremble as you pass by. And we have spore-infested librarians over on the... that. Okay, well, um... It's, uh, zombies, it's The Last of Us. Let's do this. Could be a fight. It will be. It, it, will, strike. it will be, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be very difficult. Uh, and thank you, by the way. Um, yeah. Oof, that's gonna be interesting. Thank you, by the way, um, Maya, for... Let's put it over there. Telling me about the fire. I assumed something like that would be of use, but let's get a dragon in there. Uh, and let's try and attack you here. So you're taking a tremendous amount of damage. Let's get you prepared for that. Uh, let's also get up there and do the circle of regeneration. That one. And we have a dragon. And you're gonna do this, and the dragon I can control, I think, uh, can do amazing things. That's two of them up there. There's only two of them, so there's two of them down here. Can I hit three of them at the same time? I think so. Yes, let's do it. Uh, so. Something, let's just attack there. Yeah. Something for perception would be fantastic, but I don't believe I have that. Uh, Takei is at the front, so let's see what happens. Yeah, I know you're taking damage, just hang in there. Uh, so we got a little bit of the dragon fire. Mm hmm. Okay, let's just wait until Takei does that. Uh, we have other things that we can do. We also have spells that are fire based. We can do that. Go ahead and do that with great accuracy as well, by the way. That was incredible. Uh, I think we might have killed somebody. No, we did not. I think I heard... I thought I heard um, paper. And uh, infestation of maggots. 39. What are their resistances? They have a lot of fortitude resistance. So get some hailstorm. That's the wrong... That's not how that works. Yeah, let's get some of that. Um, and uh, I can do some of this. <laughs> And uh, I also have... Uh, Dire Blessing is the one that I probably should have done already. Oh, well. Let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, Maya. Uh, well, I'll try to charm that. Uh, yeah, they're very bad. They're very dumb. So we, we should have an easy time with that. So, uh, Maya, just hang in there. And don't die too much. I'll figure it out. Uh, Sunlands. On you. How about that? And I got the song, okay, which means I can move back That's over it. here and then do this. Be quick about it. Confused. Oh, they're resilient. Okay, the confused is potentially good, but it, it isn't. Uh, let's try and kill you with this. Maya, uh, I'm going to want you up front, and I know you're going to be disengaged, but that's fine. Uh, that guy does... Oh, that's bad news. Uh, that's a lot of damage right there. Pretty good. Uh, I think they're gonna be good up there. For the wrong Anui. Thirty-two. Yeah. Ooh. Remember, did you kill that thing? No. She did damage, but something happened. Something happened, and I'm not sure what. <laughs> They might have teleported or been killed by a special status. Uh, okay, let's just uh, attack that for right now. You can attack. A These guys are just basically taking no damage. Uh, 
Shodi, let's do this. Good enough. Maya is taking damage, but I think we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. Dragon is out. Yeah, we're taking damage over time. These guys get invisible because they are monks and whatnot. Uh, no, that's pointless. Don't do that one. Do this one. Right between the eyes. Yeah. And the faster we are, the better. They are shooting at Maya, but I can move her out of the way if I need to. Let's do another one of these. How many points does she still have? I can I can never tell how many points she has. They exist somewhere. A little bit of damage up there. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and... Eh, I wouldn't do that. She's it. Now you're staying here. Uh, where is the day? Oh, there is the uh, deck in here. And get the half sword. So we should be fine. It just what can I do you takes for? a little, little bit of work. Is she's a might die? Please don't die. Is she's a. She's a. He's taking tremendous amounts of damage, by the way. It's being attacked. I think it's being attacked by the. Uh, the infested library. Either that, or it has seeping spores. Those things don't. That's bad. We're taking damage over time. Is probably where. That is. Okay, that worked quite well. Log subject K1121's confiscated possessions. Item recovered from uh, and cataloged upon entry. One book, it's a grimoire, one spyglass cracked, assorted loose leaf tea. An addendum was penned by a shaking hand. Subject K1121's grimoire ha has behaved unpredictably, uh, it asked at all since we took her downstairs over the last several hours i observed the runes and inscriptions fading from the page oddly enough the book seemed livelier when i carried it into the eastern alcove of the oratory of whale but i have yet to identify the reason further observation recommended hmm then we got some pretty good weaponry over here mother of pearl it's lovely things you can make as you have the tome, a wave of spiritual essence overwhelms you. The strength of its force so immense, you can't help but be pulled under. The gods strip us of who we are on every turn about the wheel, mercilessly shaving off all we've learned with their divine lathes. We retain the pale shadows of our souls, but knowledge, memory, self, all of it is cut away. Do the gods fear we might someday rival their strength if they do not? I thought that wasn't sure thing. done by the gods. I thought there was just how things worked. But if it is indeed done by the gods, then I suppose that is a very good what question. What do you suppose words taste like? Oh, paper, I suppose. Uh, you'd think it's the ink. But that's fair. Fungus fingers have left damp, smear, uh, damp smears of spores between the pages of this book. And you can't take the book, so, so yeah. What do we have over here? A lot of things. They told us not to take stuff. I'll take all the stuff. And we might have a dead end as well. There's just spores all over the place. This would be horrible. Super dangerous. I mean, spores can go anywhere, and you can't. They're they're invisible spores, but these ones are very visible. Okay, let's get that luminescent sporling out of the way. Speaking of spores, uh, there's the infested librarians. Okay, we're falling back immediately. Holy crap, we're falling back immediately. This was supposed to be a. Was this supposed to be an ambush? Holy crap! We have some things that can work, but uh, not ideal, as you can see. Let's see what I can do. So we have a dragon. We have another one of these, which is nice. Not very necessarily powerful, but works. Uh, we have uh, uh, holy storms. That's just fire, and it's good news. Uh, I'll do that. 
Um, you're not casting anything. You should be. Not too alone. Oh, thank Did you get hit? Maybe. It's fine. We're, we're gonna be fine. Uh, she's a sticking damage? Most likely. Take that. Uh, we have another pause from Shodi, which is good news. I think. Did she... Uh, we got auto pauses from every everybody. That is good, definitely good news. Uh, and we have the holy fire over here. We can spread it as ha as much as we can. And uh, we have some swords that we can send in there just for good measure. I'll I'll do that because uh, penumbra is not necessarily the best at. Uh, let's do that one as well. No necessarily the best at doing damage. And Shodi has just cast the other things. The swords are not out yet, which is great. Uh, I'll go ahead and do some of this. Add a little bit of protection for everybody. And deflection anyway. And they're all they're in there. Okay, swords are in. Uh, we are going to do a little bit of burning burns. If I can see. It's a shame that the scroll stops working once you have these spells. Well, it's not a shame. It's just how it's supposed to work. But it's a shame. Uh, so they, these will burn easily enough. What are they? Just sporlings. And what is that? Animated weapon. Immune to ice, which is good news. I guess you're gonna take damage. Uh, we got a stun. Uh, she's a mi yeah, she's dead. Ah oh, well, such is life. Uh, and we have a lot of them being killed over here. Uh, let's get our shields are looking mighty fine. Let's get some of this. This does not work. That one is gonna be potentially a problem, but I'm not too worried. We're gonna start shooting it. Uh, and we're gonna do a little bit of this because I can hopefully oh yeah and that's it. great stuff these weapons are fantastic not only do they look cool they do so much damage because <laughs> they're like they're full-on party members are doing normal attacks so it's just it's really powerful I like it like it a lot but we're out of time for the day so we're gonna have to like it more next episode for right now i'm colonel rpg and this has been pills of eternity 2 i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a comment like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later but above all thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next episode Bye bye